Hello friends and welcome back to the channel and especially if you are new today I'm going to show you everything that's in my kids Christmas stockings if you are new here I have two children I have a daughter who's almost four she'll be four next month named Penny and a son named Max who is six and a half years old I do want to apologize in advance I typically have all my wrap with me and what I got my kids for Christmas and stocking stuffer videos up by the first week in December but this year December just caught up to us I did get what I got my kids for Christmas out in time it was like technically um, right after Thanksgiving. However, I usually upload by Black Friday. So it was a tad bit late, but I did upload it nonetheless. So that being said, let's jump into the stocking stuffer haul. Now, I do want to explain why there's so much stuff here. I shop for stocking stuffers all year round. When I see things that remind me of my kids or something that they like and something that I feel like will sell out by the time it's Christmas, I almost always pick it up. If I don't use it in their stocking stuffer, Penny has a birthday, like I mentioned, coming up next month. So I'll definitely gift it to her for her birthday or I will save the item for Easter if it makes a good Easter basket stuffer. All right, as you can see here, two very big bags, obviously not all gonna fit in a stocking if I, unless I treat the Target bag as the stocking. But a lot of these items, anything that's like Christmas themed, I'm for sure going to put in the stocking. And if there's anything left over that could just be a Easter basket stuffer or a present for Penny's birthday, um, I will save it for that. All right, so Penny's stuff is in this Target bag. Max's stuff is in this Target bag. Let's jump into it. All right, starting with Penny's cute, adorable things. All right, I, I was so excited. This actually made it last night. Um, I was in the city, New York City, that is uh, working because I work in the film industry and um, I'm partially remote. So I work most days from home and then two days I have to go into New York City to go to the stages and the office and all that stuff. So when I got home last night, I knew that I had to shoot this video this morning and I was so bummed that these this item here didn't make it and it's here. So I'm super excited that it made it just in time for me to shoot this video. All right, enough explanations. Let me show you what the item is. So it looks like a bunny rabbit, right? How cute is this? It was one of those one-off finds on Amazon that I was like, what's that? That's so adorable. Like unique items that you can't really find anywhere else. Um, so it's bunny ears, but it's a scarf. It's a scarf. I haven't even opened it fully yet. So let me unbundle it here um, It does have like those tabs um, that keep it, you know, closed. So it's perfect size for a little girl You know Penny's only gonna be four. Um, so this is perfect for her So it has this little loop here and then you thread it right like this. Oh my gosh So it's a little scarf. It's gonna keep their neck warm So it's kind of like a neck warmer and then it has the little ears that kind of fall on the back So she's gonna go bonkers for this. She has a bunny rabbit that she sleeps with every night and it's exactly this color and this fabric. And the ears are very similar. So I think this was an amazing find. I am going to link this uh, below in the description box if you're interested in picking something up like this because it's a very unique, a wonderful winter gift. Um, it's not the best. It's not gonna be super high quality, but I think I only paid $10 or $11 for it. So I'm very happy with the quality and the color. And they had different colors. The blue was really, really pretty. All right, if you guys follow the channel, you guys know ever since The Little Mermaid came out, Penny's been crazy. Now it's Wish. She's crazy with Wish. Um, but I got her this cute little seashell um, from the Little Mermaid. Um, it is a singing seashell necklace. I found this at Target. I bought this like three months ago, honestly, and I forgot about it. I threw it in the box. Um, so if it doesn't make it in the stocking, this will be great for her birthday as well, but this was a fun one. Oh, the little penguin pens. These are so fun. I found these at Home Goods for $6.99, and um, it's a set of four really, really cute penguin pens. She loves crafting and writing and drawing, so I figured these would be great to add to her pen collection. I love the box. Like, the most unique gifts are found at Home Goods. Uh, the box has like a little snow globe and the little penguins are in it. It's super perfect. Um, this will fit nicely in the stocking because it'll just go flat. Right, the lip smacker tins. What little girl doesn't love these? What adult woman doesn't love these? I love these. Um, so I couldn't decide between the tins. Um, the Christmas tin is so beautiful and I feel like she can reuse this as a pencil box. So all her cool little pens and pencils or trinkets or her chopstick she can actually keep in here. Um, and this one I found at Target in store. And then I found the Hello Kitty one at Ulta Beauty. Ulta always has a great selection for um, little girls. And I like that this one, you can actually see the flavors and the colors that you're getting for the Hello Kitty lip balm. Um, again, these are by Lip Smackers. It's a Sanrio co collaboration and she's gonna love it. All right, the Imagine Ink. These are godsends. These will keep her entertained for quite some time. She goes through a book very quickly, I will say. And these usually retail for $4.99 to $5.99, depending if you get a deal on them. So they're not the lowest in price, but they're super fun and they keep the kids entertained, especially if you're doing like a car ride or you're traveling on a plane. These are amazing. So I did find an Elf on the Shelf, which she's really into. This is her first year doing Elf on the Shelf, so she's gonna be excited to find this one. I got her a Trolls one because she hasn't had this one yet. And then of course, she's absolutely crazy with the movie Wish right now. She loves Asha, so I found this one at Target in store. Had to have it. 
Penny needs more slippers. I just got her slippers from the movie Wish. They're um, the goat. Uh, I forget his name. Valentino. Uh, but those are in her clothing box. Uh, so these are going to go in her stocking. She needs multiple. One to keep downstairs and then one for upstairs. Um, so yeah, so I got her these little puppy dog ones. She loves puppy dogs. She's really into them right now. These are by Cat and Jack and they have the gripper bottoms. They look like that. I got them on super sale. They came to like three or four dollars. Couldn't, couldn't put them down. Another Ulta Beauty find. This is by The Cream Shop and it's a collab with Hello Kitty. It is a bath bomb and what a great match with the Lip Smackers Hello Kitty lip balm. So I figured this would be a fun one to add. And again, she loves the bath bombs. This one doesn't have a prize inside. It's just the Hello Kitty head, uh, but this one is fun. What a cute find in the Target dollar spot in the Bullseyes Playground. This is just a little notepad. She can just scribble around and draw her little characters in here. This would go really, really fun with the penguin pen. So what a cute set together. Um, this retailed for $3 and I just thought it was adorable it's a little reindeer notepad like you don't find stuff like this all the time I think I may have shown this in a Walmart haul previously but since I'm gonna do it as a stocking stuffer I might as well show you this is just an activity book it says I love Christmas it comes with the Santa pen which I was gonna borrow for my wrap with me when I you know write out the labels however I did find another pack of Christmas pens so I decided to leave this one intact and then save this activity book for her stocking um, as I mentioned it is a Walmart find I love it because it's not just a coloring book it is an activity book and they're all Christmas themed you got snowmen you got elves you got reindeer you have all the cool stuff in there so this was a fun find in the book section all right penny's fuzzy hat so she was in school she got paint all over this same exact hat that i bought her from cat and jack at target it had paint on the pom-pom and I, I try to wash it i try to salvage the pom-pom it got frazzled like when i washed it so it looks <laughs> it looks sad but i couldn't get rid of it because it's like her favorite hat so i was able to find another one this is a brand new one obviously has a tag on it um and she's gonna she's gonna be so happy because she loves her hats and when she finds a favorite one she calls it fuzzy and that's all she wants to wear the elf clip and the elf headband i decided i am going to pop them in her stocking um this is just so adorable actually i think i found this at walmart it's by the scoonchi brand and then the little clips are so adorable they have all the characters from the movie Elf on there um, and just what a cute little combination to give together. All right, for Penny, that's it for the non-edible items and here we go with the yummies. So um, great value, obviously found at Walmart. Um, they had Frosty the Snowman marshmallows, super, super cute. Um, two pieces, 20 calories. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe I'll have some, but Frosty looks so cute there and she's gonna love this. She loves her sweets. I try to limit obviously how much chocolate, cookies and all that stuff she's eating this holiday season because you know, it can be a little bit overindulgent, but it's Christmas and um, we're gonna pay her um, but these are really fun and again my kids are really into frosty right now so I thought that was a fun find all right frosty the snowman chocolates I found these at my local supermarket and they were on sale they had them three for three dollars what a deal so a dollar a piece um, but I think you had to buy three to get the deal you know how they do that um, but it's fine I didn't mind getting three I'm not gonna put all three in her stocking um, I could maybe put one of these in my nephew's stocking because he does like chocolate um, but yeah the designs are super cute and I think one of them is like a double crisp it has like a little rice crisp and then the other ones are just regular chocolate. Kinder, my favorite chocolate, Penny's too. Kinder, Lint, and Ghirardelli. Those are like the chocolates that I've been eating um, when I can find them. Um, these are crispy, mini friends, and they're shaped like little penguins, so those are gonna be fun in her stocking. I mean, what's Christmas without some chocolate cash, right? These are adorable, and I got them two for a dollar at my local supermarket. I know that Target had these as well, and they just look like dollar bills printed with Santa on there, so these were fun to add to her stocking. This little guy here is so cute. This is called Santa Claus. Claus skewer. I found this at Home Goods. I love Home Goods gourmet candy and chocolates because they're very unique items. A lot of the items are actually from Europe, like European chocolate, um, and they're items that you can't just find in any random store. Um, this was a little pricey. It was $3.49. I thought it was very, very sweet. It's well designed and the candy looks delicious. It looks like that mushy, marshmallowy, you know, sweet candy. Oh, and it says product of Bulgaria. Interesting. All right, the Santa chocolates. I did get some chocolates from the German market, but I already put those out and the Santa, like the big chocolate Santa um, that's on my mantle I think it's up there um, I'm not gonna put it in a stocking because it's kind of big to put in there and I already bought these guys so these are by the Palmer brand and they're just like little chocolate Santa Clauses these are just super fun she doesn't eat all of these we actually open them and share them with her we'll just give her a little nibble I actually found little German chocolates at home goods I'm telling you guys home goods they just they know what they're doing um, a little pricey $4.99 for this little box here but original retail was $7 and they are from Germany um, and they're shaped like little Santa 
does. And last sweet item, this I actually got when Home Goods started putting out all their Christmas stuff. Um, this is the world's best tasting gummies, and it's a reindeer. They had a really massive bag, and I was like, no, 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 too big. Um, even this, I feel like it's kind of big, but honestly, guys, it's all about the shape of the bag and how cute this is. All right, friends, moving on to Mr. Maximilian. Oh, this was a fun one. Okay, so this actually came from Amazon last night as well. I read amazing reviews. It's called The Melting Snowman, and you can get them in multiple packs, like if you're gonna do a Christmas party and you have multiple kids coming. So you assemble the snowman, and it's a weird substance which kind of like holds its position, but then it starts to melt. So it looks like the snowman is melting like on your desk. So I thought this was super fun. It comes with all the accessories, if you can see there. Um, it has the hat and the nose and probably, I don't know, a scarf or buttons um, and the little arms. So this was super fun and I thought this would be fun for Mr. Max, you know, to work on his dexterity and do something crafting wise during Christmas. All right, the holiday stencils. These are essentially holiday pencils and they're scented and they're so cute. I was actually introduced to these last year when one of my kids came home with a goodie bag like a holiday goodie bag so it comes with super fun scents you've got candy cane gingerbread snowberry mint cocoa and sugar cookie that's the yellow one so i thought these were fun um they're just regular pencils and they have the little erasers there with the little toppers there's nothing that my son loves more than popcorn and pizza so i found these cool socks on amazon they're popcorn socks they did have a pizza version i almost got them but i they were a little expensive they were like eight dollars for one pair of socks and i was like no we'll just stick to one because it's more of a novelty thing for his stocking uh but yeah they're good quality i will say they're thick and good quality and again he loves popcorn so these were a fun find again amazon.com getting max to take vitamins it's hard <laughs> it's hard he doesn't like all the gummy candies so um these ollie brand gummies he actually loves them this is the vitamin brand that my kids take they usually just take like the round ones but they make gummy worms like i was like what they make gummy worms i have to get them for max um they're not cheap they're a little bit pricey but i figured they're for his stocking stuff or let's splurge a little bit and if he likes them it's a different thing for him to have as a vitamin um so yeah gummy worms right so much fun like do they make these for adults uh so i found these on amazon.com he's gonna love them my son is very sensory he loves all the squishies and the fidget toys so i found this at walmart actually it's by giggle zone and it's just a stress ball and it has um it's nice it feels it has nice buoyancy um so yeah he loves all these things and these are just fun things to add to his toy box so he can play um and i love the colors like look at this cool pink with the it's like marble but they had all different colors it had blue and yellow and green and pink and red max is crazy with his train sets i did find this cute little motorized just a random train on amazon um these are going to work with his wooden tracks and it's like a little monorail it reminds me a little bit of the monorail in disney world i think that's why i gravitated towards it um but again you just pop a battery in there and it moves on any wooden thomas train tracks that you have so this was just a great thing to add uh for his fun collection monkey noodles if you guys have ever assembled a sensory kit or package uh these are probably in there uh these are amazing my kids literally fight over them they're so much fun so they look like these they're just like gummy stringy pulley noodles right and they're very squishy and the kids absolutely love them um they come in many different fun colors they make even scented ones now i was like oh it's fine we'll stick with the regular ones because they were on sale um so yeah monkey noodles are super popular the kids love them i did pick up a hot wheels car for him to go in his stocking um well it comes with the car and then it's like a little hauler truck i guess the car fits inside so um he loves hot wheels and trains and anything that moves on wheels so that'll be fun for him oh the turtle this is a fun one okay let me open this up so max loves flashlights as well he's always taking our like emergency flashlights and playing with them um so i found this on amazon it's like a keychain right it has a little carabiner but it's a little light and it's a turtle they had different animals see that Oh my gosh, so cute. So this is just a fun thing for him to play with. My local supermarket is stepping it up in their toy section. I have been going crazy looking for airplane toys. Not Hot Wheels, Matchbox, nothing. I could never find them. Not on Amazon, not at Walmart, not at Target. Everything is either a car or some sort of vehicle or a truck. Airplanes like this are so hard to find lately. But my local supermarket had a stock of these amazing Matchbox airplanes. $3 going in a stocking. And I bet you this is probably going to be his favorite thing he gets during Christmas. It's kind of crazy. All right, my poor kids, they, they're dry. They're dry like mama. We have dry skin. In the winter, we have eczema. It's, it's a mess. Um, so I got 
have this Aquaphor healing balm stick and I figured this will be great to keep in his school backpack because he gets, you know, the little dry patches on his legs and stuff. So I thought this would be great to add to his bag or when I'm just traveling with him, you know, throw this in my purse so that when he has dry spots, I can just put this baby on and give him some relief. All right, didn't leave Max behind. I got him some Imagine inks too. I'm trying to get him into these because these are just, it's so fun to color them. Um, I did find some Christmas stuff and believe it or not, I found these in my local shop, right? Which is my local supermarket. Here we have Paw Patrol, but it is a Christmas themed one. And then of course, both of my kids love the Grinch. Max is getting the Grinch. Penny might be a little bit jealous, but she has the elf on the shelf. So she can, she can have fun with that one. This one is all for Max and Come on guys, you can't go wrong with the Grinch. Little golden book, Frosty the Snowman. Like I'm on repeat, I keep saying it. Both of my kids are really into Frosty and Snowman right now. So now you know. But they both love Frosty, so I figured this is a fun golden book and Target had a sale on golden books. Uh, buy one, get one 25% off, so I grabbed it. Behind trains, Max's next second favorite thing are airplanes. So I found this cute little book on Amazon. They were doing a flash sale. It was like three bucks. Um, it is called A Day at the Airport. I thought this was a fun addition to his stocking. I always like to add books and stuff to color and craft. So um, this was a fun one. This actually might be a fun book to pick up if you're prepping your little one for like their first airplane ride and their first trip to the airport. This might be fun to give them like an introduction. All right, almost there. So I did get Max another set of socks other than the popcorn socks. Um, I got these at the Gap because uh, they were doing mega sales. So I got 40% off additional 10 from $16.95. I don't know. I probably paid $7 for these and it's a set of three and Gap socks, not going to lie, very good quality. This is a set of Star Wars Gap socks. So you have Darth Vader, you have Chewbacca, and then the final pair is white with C-3PO and R2-D2. My kids love the Contigo bottles. This is like the water bottle that works the best for them. I will say the simple modern water bottles are actually creeping up to like their new favorite, which I like. I feel like I can clean those a little bit better than the contraption inside the Contigo, but this has been a water bottle we've been using for about four years now and it just works for my kids. It's time to like purge the old ones because they get gunky inside and no matter how much you clean them, they're gunky. Um, purge those old ones and get new ones. All right, I did get my little man some hair products. Uh, we love this place, Snippets. That's where my kids usually get their haircuts. Um, this is called Morning Miracle Mousse. It's a styling spray and I even use it, it's that good. Um, but this is what we use on my son every single morning. It, he doesn't mind it, like he doesn't mind the spray, he doesn't mind the smell. Um, and it's just, it's like cute designer kid, you know, spray. So I like to put it in their stocking. And um, when he sees the bottle, he knows exactly what it is. He loves this stuff, so I picked it up for his stocking. A little snacky thing for Max, cause he's not really into chocolate or candy, believe it or not. Um, Goldfish made a Christmas edition. How cute are these? They're holiday shapes. So you got a stocking, you have a little Christmas tree. These are Fun. What kid doesn't love goldfish? My kids love them. So I figured this would be fun, um, especially to add a crunchy or a snack to his stocking. And last but not least, all right, Max doesn't eat a lot of sweets. He doesn't eat chocolate or cake, but these shortbread cookies that I find at Home Goods, he adores them. So they had an Elf on the Shelf version. Usually we get like the Peppa Pig or the Paw Patrol, but they had Elf on the Shelf for the holiday. And I've never seen these before. One box for each kiddo. They're both going to be happy because they each get their own. Um, so what I'm going to do on Christmas morning, I'm going to put these by their stocking with a little note from Elfie saying, thank you so much for hosting for me during the holiday season. It's time for me to go back to the North Pole, etc., etc., etc. Um, Here's a little gift for you guys. And thank you. All right, friends, another holiday video in the books. Thank you so much for checking checking out my kids stocking haul. Um, I am going to do a shopping video for myself. We're going to go uh, stocking stuff for shopping because I decided I'm going to do a stocking for myself this year. I feel like I deserve it. I've been working hard. It's been kind of a crazy year. My husband does a stocking for me every year and he does a fantastic job, but I like to let him surprise me and he always does really, really well. Um, but I want to do a stocking where I know exactly what's going to be in there. I want pampering items, you know, stuff for the face. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of shopping. We're going to do Sephora, Ulta, maybe Costco. Believe it or not, I find some fun stuff at Costco for myself. I know I'm reaching that age where Costco is fun. We'll of course maybe hit Target. Maybe we'll hit like one of the department stores. Maybe I'll order something from Lululemon. I don't know. We'll see. I got to shop around, uh, but I am going to have that video coming up. And then everything from here on out after my stocking, it's pretty much going to be food, right? We're going to go to Whole Foods. We're going to do some holiday shopping for our holiday dinner, Christmas Eve and Christmas day. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, see what they have left for holiday. So, um, lots of foodie stuff coming up if you're into that especially um, cooking gourmet dinners I love to go to Whole Foods and get the lobster tails and the steaks so that'll be coming up on the channel as well if any of this sounds interesting to you please consider hitting that red subscribe button liking this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one happy holidays